All right, guys, it's N60 Sean. It is all kicking off uh, this episode. It was a match which was scheduled to be the Five Nights at Freddy's crew versus the sister location characters. But as you can see here, Springtrap has been attacked by Funtime Freddy and Circus Baby. Uh, Freddy Fazbear trying to come to the aid of Springtrap. And then Springtrap's potential replacement, Marionette, was also attacked before, uh, before the match started. As you can see, he's been found decimated in his locker room. And then there was a just an assault on, uh, as you see, of a Funtime Freddy and Purple Guy meeting in the backstage area, getting into an altercation, and then Funtime Freddy just decided to dismantle Purple Guy. So all of the most of the Five Nights at Freddy's characters who were scheduled to compete have been destroyed, but replacements have been sought after. Freddy Fazbear was last seen going into H2O Delirious's locker room. You see H2O Delirious there angry because he lost the final of the tournament against Jack Jacksepticeye. He isn't happy about that, so maybe Freddy Fazbear is going to be offering him a chance to uh, let out some of that frustrations against the sister location crew. And here they are making their debut. Again, the game MML, uh, MLL, sorry, a big shout out to him and uh, the creator of these characters. And here they are, Circus Baby and uh, Funtime Freddy. Are they stronger or better than the original Five Nights at Freddy's crew? We're going to find this out in this match. We were going to hopefully we were due to find out just by the two teams facing off. That's not going to happen in this video. Um, Freddy Fazbear has had to find some replacement henchmen to deal with Funtime Freddy and Circus Baby in this match. And here they come. Here are the replacements who have both got, who have both got um, uh, something to prove, the two of them. It's Vanos and H2O Delirious. It's a team that a lot of people wanted to see. H2O Delirious, the losing finalist. As you can see, he looks pretty aggy about losing to Jacksepticeye. Got outdone by boss mode. Rolled up quite sneakily. And as you can see, Freddy, Freddy Fazbear also accompanying them to ringside. Mr. Money in the Bank, Vanos. He's only had one match and he was victorious in that. He is the, the Money in the Bank briefcase holder. If you miss the Money in the Bank, it means you do a title shot whenever you fancy. So uh, Vanos in his, uh, well, his first sort of proper competitive match here against uh, the sister location characters with his buddy H2O Delirious. It's a team which a lot of people in the comments has wanted to see. And uh, we're, we're gonna find out whether H2O Delirious is gonna be as dominant as he has been with Vanos. And I'm pretty sure H2O Delirious is gonna wanna get back into the position of that he is unstoppable. He wants that to be in everybody's mind because I don't think he is happy about the upset of uh, Jack Centerguy beating him in the final. And he is just absolutely pounding Funtime Freddy. And Circums Baby uh, makes a quick tag there. And I don't, maybe H2O Delirious didn't actually see the tag. Maybe he was expecting Funtime Freddy to come out of the corner, but Circus Baby now with a Hurricane Rana to H2O Delirious, taking him down there. And again, Circus Baby and Funtime Freddy showing a little bit of sass. The other Five Nights at Freddy's characters were a lot more business, a lot more offense, but you get a little bit of sass from these sister location characters as H2O Delirious takes advantage and tags in Vanos. Now, Vanos' style, from what I can gather from his one match, is basically, he doesn't really care about winning. He just wants to have a nice time and beat on people. Uh, which is a strategy which has sort of done him quite well because he's got a 100% win record here. Uh, h 2 Delirious was also undefeated once upon a time, but now no more after uh, the final loss to Jack Jacksepticeye. Snap suplex and a top rope Asai Moonsault from Vanos. Vanos very high flying, much quicker than h 2 Delirious. h 2 Delirious, the power in this team. Uh, Vanos, the, uh, more of the sort of the wild card, the unexpected. Uh, so a nice takedown by Circus Baby. And this Circus Baby, uh, again, just, you know, giving some chat to Vanos. And again, it's cost, it's cost Circus Baby, because Circus Baby is just taking some stiff elbows from Vanos. And this looks to be a nice nifty move, Tornado DDT by, uh, by Vanos. Uh, Vanos now also gonna be looking to going up top. Again, Vanos the high flyer, but maybe just, oh, just took a little bit of time because uh, Circus Baby managed to roll out the way. And uh, that is going to put the uh, momentum and the advantage firmly with the Five Nights at Freddy's uh, uh, sister location characters. Now, you've got to think, if Vanos and h 2 well, hang on, there's a big double team coming here. And a powerbomb position, super powerbomb. Sort of with a neck breaker combo there. And Funtime Freddy going for the cover. This could be it 
One, two, and Hestro Delirious having to come in and make the save there. But then what you've got to think is if Hestro Delirious and Vanos are successful in dispatching of the sister location characters, then they might have an alliance with the Five Nights at Freddy's crew. What could that mean going forward? Because that will be a pretty strong alliance of Vanos, Hestro Delirious, the likes of Springtrap, Freddy Fazbear, and Northern Light Suplex here. This could be it. Could that, could that be? No, it's just two count from Vanos. So it's going to be pretty interesting uh, what is going to happen here with this alliance between Freddy Fazbear, Vanos, and H2O Delirious. Is uh, Vanos with a stiff kick to the face. Mr. Money in the Bank, when will he cash in that title opportunity? Which he can do at any point. He could do it straight after this match if he wanted to. Super kick to the face of, of uh, Funtime Freddy. And a reverse Frankensteiner, a trademark move of Vanos and a, and a big stomp. And of course, the flying goat, the big falling headbutt is uh, Vanos's uh, finishing move. We saw him nail that from the top of a ladder in the Money in the Bank match. Don't know what he was going for there, but whatever it was, Funtime Freddy's reversed it and he's looks to send Vanos to the outside of the ring. And Funtime Freddy with a big right hand to H2O Delirious. A bit uncalled for, that one. And Funtime Freddy now going to the outside and just take it out, Freddy Fazbear as well. Freddy Fazbear, who is in the corner of H2O Delirious, he's the one who masterminded this alliance. Has just taken a beating on the outside. Fun time, Freddy, with a pop-up power bomb out of nowhere as well. A finishing move, two, and oh, and that was close. There's no H2O Delirious to come in and make the save there. No Freddy Fazbear to try and distract the referee. Fun time, Freddy, coming within an inch of being victorious in the Sister Locations debut in the WWE YouTuber Tournament Series. Now, this looks like to be nice teamwork from the sister location characters. Is uh, Circus Baby puts uh, puts the boots to uh, to Vanos and another signature move, eating defeat by Vanos, and that could be it. But Freddy Fazbear is on the road on the red apron here. Referee Shen Wu is distracted. I'm not sure if that could have been it, but Circus Baby is so mad. It's just tried to do some sort of weird springboard moonsault, and it's ended up just landing. Face first onto the ground. I saw a malfunction there by the animatronic. And this has allowed Vanos to take advantage. Michinuku driver. And this does not look good for Circus Baby. Give a little nudge to, to Freddy Fazbear with a bit of help there. But, I mean, I'm not sure that could have put Vanos away. And Vanos now looking for the flying goat. Can he hit? He hits it. And that could be it if he chooses to capitalise. But, again, in true Vanos start fashion, he wants to win in style, not just win not just sneak a, a one, two, three, as he tags in H2O Delirious here. And it looks like Circus Baby's going for, uh, going for a tombstone. But Vanos, oh, what a move! A springboard spike tombstone. And that is going to be all she wrote for Circus Baby. H2O Delirious with the, with the pin, but Funtime Freddy managing to quickly get in. And I'll tell you what, this is not looking good for the sister location characters. The alliance of H2O Delirious and Vanos proving to be quite a formidable one as Funtime Freddy gets nailed with a tombstone. And this looks like to be the second tombstone for Circus Baby, but Funtime, oh! Funtime Freddy looked to try and save Circus Baby, but it still, still got dropped right on its head, sent to the outside, and now, well, a third tombstone to Circus Baby. And I think that is gonna be it. Vanos now just going to be making sure that Funtime Freddy, one, two, and three, and Vanos just to make sure that there's going to be no interference through himself in Funtime Freddy, and that is a emphatic victory for Vanos and H2O Delirious, and you've got to ask the question now, has that, met, has that formed an alliance between Delirious, Vanos, and the Five Nights at Freddy's Crew. Drop a like if you enjoyed it. Make sure you subscribe. The title match will be coming up very soon between Jack Sentakai and Dan is Not On Fire. I've been N60 Sean. Adios.